I'm back up on top of the barn roof and the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'll do a quick overview of the antenna wires I got stretched out and then we'll go back down inside to the crystal radio. I have three copper wires across from the barn over to the house, 150 feet from post to post. Each there's a 14 gauge bare copper wire in each run here. On this one over here I have some uh, copper mesh that's attached to the wire and on this side over this one over here that's a copper tinsel. Now I was using them to collect ambient energy off the antenna wires but right now I have just this top wire connected to the crystal radio and it's probably about 30 feet off the ground from right here and it looks like they're sagged down a little bit probably have to tighten them up a little bit but you can see what I got going here and I got the wires down they go into a window below so let's go below now this is the crystal radio that I made and this is where the antenna wires come in from up above got them all labeled the tinsel one the mesh one and over here bare copper wire one that's the one that is hooked up <clears throat> To the crystal radio right there and we got our ground wire and our earpiece that's hooked up right now it is on right now i'll hold the earpiece up to the microphone so you can hear that it's on should be able to be hearing something off of that and now with these other two antennas i got them tied together going to that full bridge rectifier that I showed in another video and they are powering some LEDs and what I noticed that I thought was pretty interesting the antennas aren't in interfering with each other the tinsel and the mesh antennas don't seem to be causing any interference with the crystal radio and its antenna even though they're so close together up on the roof up there now they're operating at different frequencies the frequencies of these when I checked them before were like maybe 30 to 40 kilohertz I think it's just static and then we're operating in AM radio frequencies I think that's why they're not interfering with each other this does the crystal radio does draw down the voltage from the full bridge rectifier a few millivolts but that's it and those two antennas are still powering the nine leds i think that's pretty interesting that everything can be on the radio is on all the time crystal radio is on all the time and so are the leds and they don't seem to cause any interference with each other and i can actually i can hook all these together I don't even need them separated. Then I took a suggestion from one of my other videos that maybe I could take those two antenna wires that are powering the LEDs and power something else, like maybe an uh, amplifier and a speaker. And that's the next thing I set out to try. I have all these antennas connected together right now. Then I made myself a very simple amplifier, one transistor, one resistor and one capacitor. This gets hooked up right there. It's an NPN transistor. And I got myself a Motorola piezoelectric tweeter. Now, in order to maintain a lower voltage, I wanted to stay under 10 volts. I connected my power source or rectifier up to four LEDs. So this is under 10 volts, it's about stayed around nine and a half to nine volts with just the lights on but when i go to hook my tweeter up it can only power it real low i mean it's real quiet so i decided i'm going to have to 
charge up a bigger capacitor so I can get more volume out of it for a shorter amount of time. That's the next thing I worked on. This is a, a little complicated now, but stick with me and I'll show you what I got. I still have the LEDs are on and I got a wire, this red wire and this blue wire right here are coming around here to charge up this big filter capacitor, uh, 45,000 microfarad. And I'm using to run the speaker off of the energy that I store in here. I have it connected to my little amplifier. Black is a negative from the capacitor. Then it goes into my tweeter, back out around again. And I just got to connect it up to there. And I have a little potentiometer here so I can control the power, the volume. And this is just some resistive crossover for the speaker. So now I am ready to connect it up. Just got to do this and it should come on. Hear it. And then we'll focus. I can. And LEDs are still on. But they are dimming down. I can only get full power here for maybe 10 minutes off of this and then it needs to recharge again. And it looks like LEDs are just about out, so the voltage is dropping. But I can get lower volume continuously. It's pretty low. But anyway, that's the way it works. And just not enough power off my scavenger antennas, but it is working. It's all for free. Radio operates for free and a speaker works for free. But if I do want continuous operation, I can hook up my magnesium carbon fiber graphite battery in a jar. This one, I had two LEDs hooked up to this one. I've had it hooked up to since I built this, you know, whenever that was, a couple months ago. And it operates continuously off that. So I still have... There are two red LEDs hooked up in series here. They're still on. So I know the voltage here is above three. It's probably close to four, maybe. Maybe four volts on here. And I can operate my radio off of that. This is a pretty good radio, but I only get like two stations clear. So this was a pretty fun project. I imagine there's ways I could tweak it here and there to get some better performance. But it was fun just building it, and it's fun to operate it. This stuff is on all the time, and that's why I wanted to show this. So once again, thanks for your time.